Uh, you guys, I've got this game we're going to play. Uh, so you guys, for this, when you want to try to play the train game, you will have to have your camera on for this thing. Now, some of you guys may already know how to play this game, uh, in which case, please don't yell out any answers. I need you to play the game with us and then see if we can all come up with our own solution to it. So this is a little bit different than when I do it in class, uh, but we'll try it and see how it works. Okay, so you guys, uh, the train game goes like this. I'm gonna tell you where the train can go, okay? And then uh, the way you play is, uh, if you think you understand what's going on, you're gonna tell me where the train can go. You cannot ask any questions like, is it this or is it that? No, you can't. In other words, we can't ask nature, hey nature, is it true that dark matter exists? We can't ask that, we gotta do an experiment, so that's what you're gonna have to do. So let me give you a couple examples. Okay, uh, the train uh, can go from this bowl to this spoon. Okay, the train can go from this calculator to this pen. Okay, the train can go from this pen to this clip right here. Okay, the train can go from this hair tie to this piece of paper right here. However, if I said the train can go from this hair tie to this piece of paper, that would be wrong. That wouldn't be true. So uh, what I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need some help for people that think they have it to tell me where the train can go. And I will either say, yes, that's correct. Or I'll say, no, that's, that's not correct. And uh, as in science, it's very important that some people get it wrong. Does anybody want to try this right now? Do I have any uh, takers just to try it? It's totally okay if you get it wrong. In fact, we need people to get it wrong so that we can get a better idea. Anybody want to give it a try? I can do some more if you want. I think I, I, think I would like to try an experiment. Go for the experiment. What do you think? The train can go from this phone to this pencil. I'm sorry, that's not correct, but that is a very valuable experiment. In fact, we're going to find that the experiments that have a null result, in other words, that they don't show what you think, those are probably going to be the most valuable. Uh, Malini, did you want to try one? There. I guess it was yeah. just coincidence. Okay, uh, let's, let's okay. listen to Malini. Go ahead. Okay, the train can go from this pencil to this eraser. Yes, can you do another one, please? Okay, the train can go from my phone to this notebook. Yep, and one last one. Okay, the train can go from this pen to this pair of scissors. That is correct. Well, Molly got those right every time, but check this out. The train can go from this pen to this pair of scissors. That is not true. That was a lie, what I just said. It's, it's just not true. Uh, the train can go from this pen to the scissors, that's wrong. Now you may say, wait, didn't you just say that? Yes, science is really about observing. And the problem with human brains are, we think we know it all. So you tend to close your eyes or block out certain things that you're not expecting. So this is a real exercise in opening up your senses to what is going on. Does anybody else think they might have it? And we can go, we're gonna go for a while and don't feel bad if you don't have it yet. It, it does take a while. Mr. Okay. Barkley, always. Yeah. Kennedy? Okay, the train can go from this charger cord to this pencil. Uh, yes, I'm gonna say, is there any way to adjust your screen? So far, yes, but I, I'm afraid that we're gonna mislead people if I can't see you all the way. Oh. Okay, go ahead. So that <laughs> um, was correct, can you do go, another one? The train can go from these glasses to this bear. It can't. Uh, so that is why I'm, uh, I wanted to make sure uh, do one more because I might have missed something, but try one more. Um, okay. The train can go from this tapestry to this picture. Yes, it can. Can you do one more? Uh, okay. The train can go from this blanket to this pillow. That is correct. Anybody else think they might have it? I can do some more. Uh, so let's try this. Okay. The train can go from this spoon to this pencil. However, check this out. The train can go from this spoon to this pencil. That's wrong. What? So I need you guys to really open up your senses to what is going on. You really got to open up 
uh, everything that you're kind of blocking out. And then it turns out the brain is a tool for blocking out information. We really got to open up our senses. I'll do a couple more like that. Okay, the train can go from this guitar pick to this pencil. That is correct. However, check this out. This is going to be wrong. The train can go from this guitar pick to this pencil. That was not correct. Let me do a couple more. Okay, the train can go from this spoon to this guitar pick. Okay, the train can go from this lid to this spoon. Okay, the train can go from this lid to this pencil. But if I said the train can go from this lid to this pencil, that wouldn't be correct. Does anybody else want to try one? We really need someone uh, that doesn't know what to try too. Okay, Sydney, you want to give it a try? Okay, the train can go from this marker to this pen. Yes, can you do another one? Okay, um, hold on. Okay, the train can go from this highlighter to this sticky note. Yes, and I'd like you to do one more and I'm going to give a big clue while you do this here. Okay. Yep, you got it right. Okay. Done. That was my clue. That was done. You got it. So that was a huge clue for that last one, you guys. That was a huge clue. Uh, can, does anybody think they don't have it? We need people that don't have this to try one. We're never going to get it unless we have some uh, incorrect responses so you guys can start to see what's going on. Uh, can somebody try it who thinks they don't understand? Can I try it? Give it a try, Mariah. Okay. Okay, the train can go from this pencil to this paper? Yes, it can. Can you do another one? Um, okay, the train can go from this pencil to my phone? That is correct. Can you do one last one, though? Okay, the train can go from this pencil to my notebook? That is correct. However, check this out, folks. If I said the train can go from this pencil to this notebook, that would be wrong. Wait a second. You guys, so if you're paying attention, you, uh, we gotta start noticing something. And this is, this is a tough problem. I've actually done this with AP classes and no one got it. Interestingly, I've done it with physical science classes and people got it like within five minutes. It really is, it, it's interesting that smart kids like you guys often have a harder time getting this because you guys are so focused on certain things and you really think you're right. So you tend to miss things. So let's do a couple more. Um, here's a couple examples. Okay, the train can go from here to here. Okay, the train can go from this finger to this finger. Okay, the train can go from San Francisco to New York. But if I said, the train can go from San Francisco to New York, ah, that would be wrong. Can anybody, I really need someone to get it wrong here so I can, uh, I can make a, a, give you a clue. Okay, go ahead, Arthur, give it a try. Um, do you mind if I try maybe like three just to make sure? Yes, you definitely have to. I will, uh, if you get okay. it right, I will ask you to repeat the trials. In other words, multiple trials tell me that you definitely have it right. So the train can go from this pencil to this ID card? It cannot. However, if I said something like, okay, the train can go from this pencil to this ID card here, that would be correct. Very I would like to try an experiment. Go and experiment, Josh. Okay. The train can go from this pencil to this Yep, to you this got pencil. it. Do another one, please. Okay. The train can go from this notebook to this pencil. Yep, you got it. One more just to make sure. Okay. The train can go from you this phone to this. I can stop you right there. I can stop you right there. That's a big clue, I've you guys. Crack to the code. Okay, now hold on. Don't don't say we need to like, let everybody crack it on their own. So don't yell it out. Just like just like science, uh, it is kind of cool when you do crack the code. And and when we're doing science, we do like to share our results. However, uh, we want to give everybody else the joy of getting this here. Uh, and it is challenging. Okay, you guys. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do a couple more. Uh, I need some people to get it wrong. So far, I haven't had any volunteers that don't know it yet. I do need some so I can give you guys a huge clue. And I only want to spend about maybe five more minutes on this. So we're going to try to get it so everybody gets it on their own. Can I get some person that really does not get it to just give it a try? Because it's going to really help. Cortland, I, I, and uh, this is, uh, 
what I'm going to do is uh, you're going to really help us, especially if you get this wrong. So don't be offended or anything by anything I say, but I'm trying to give a clue. Go ahead and give us your uh, experiment here. Okay, the train can go from this pencil to this hair pick. It can. Can you do another one, please? All right, the train can go from this pencil to this pencil. It can't. So that was actually kind of helpful. If you do one know, more, no. Cortland. I think I know so, now. Okay, well, uh, uh, Cortland, uh, if you can do one more, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to make a uh, try to introduce a bigger clue here. Go ahead and start there uh, one more time for one more. All right, the train can go from this nope, pencil to this nope, 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 can't. So hopefully that, that was an important clue. Now, I had to warn you, I was going to interrupt you, but that is an important clue that you just helped us provide. You guys, it turns out that getting a hypothesis wrong is often more important than getting it right. Perfect example is the discovery of dark energy. And I'll tell you this story uh, after we're done with this, but two groups got their hypothesis wrong and made the biggest discovery of the 20th century. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. Let's try to knock this out though. You guys, I'm gonna give you some more clues and hopefully we're gonna all get it. This is very challenging. Uh, uh, Arthur, can you do it for us and make it, if you think you got it, make it super obvious. Go for it. Um, all right, I'll try my best to see if I can maybe crack it. Okay, the train can go from this ID card to this ID card. Yes, it can. Can you do another one, please? But the train cannot go from this pencil to this ID card. That is correct. Can you do another one that it can do, though? Okay. Uh, the train can go from this phone to this ID card. Yep. And can you do maybe another one that doesn't work? This train can go from this piece of paper to this pencil. You're right. That is a fail right there. He was right that that didn't work. I'm going to try to make it, uh, unless somebody else can help me here, I'm going to try to make it more and more obvious. Okay, the train can go from here to there. Okay, the train can go from Detroit to Ann Arbor. Okay, the train can go from uh, the top of my head to the bottom of my chin. Okay, the train can go from this corner of the screen to this corner of the screen. But if I said the train can go from this corner of the screen to this corner of the screen, that wouldn't be right. Here's a couple more that are right. Okay. The train can go from my pinky to my first finger. Okay, the train can go from Utah to North Carolina. Okay, the train can go wherever I say the train goes. But if I said the train can go wherever I say the train goes, that's not true. Does anybody else think they have identified the pattern yet? Uh, and let's see, I've got a bunch of people that say they do. Um, so you guys, I'm gonna call on you to do an experiment here. And it's okay not to have it yet. Uh, can I get, uh, is, uh, we got a bunch of people think we got it. Uh, Aris, do you feel like you could do an experiment here for us? The train can go from. Sorry, it can't. Uh, okay, that was a huge clue. So you guys, uh, and there's no shame in that. Uh, you know, the business of science is we try to get, come up with the right answer, but we're often wrong. In fact, we are wrong way more than we're right. That's part of the process. There's no shame. I would like to put the I the like train to can go from very uh, obvious. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Uh, Aris, did you want to try one more? Uh, yeah, sure. The train can go from. Sorry, you can't. Okay, that and I didn't mean to interrupt you like that, but I wanted to show that was a huge clue. Notice that I knew he didn't have it right right from the beginning. I'm going to do a couple more. Go ahead. Okay, the train can go from Det Detroit to Ann Arbor. Yes. Can you do another one, please? Okay, the train can go from Detroit to Ohio. Yes, and one more. Okay, the train okay, can you go got from. It. So we don't have to go. We don't have to go on. He's got it. Yeah. Let's do a couple more. Josh, you want to make a couple very painfully obvious for us? Yeah. So okay, the train can go from this phone to this calculator. Yes. But if I said the train can go from this phone to this calculator. That would be wrong. He's right about that. Josh, can you give us one that is so painfully obvious that it's going to hurt? Okay. The train can go from this pencil. Yep, you got it. The paper saying okay. <laughs> and uh, do one more uh, extra painfully obvious, uh, and we're going to try to get everybody on board of getting this here. Okay. This, the train can go from this notebook that has the words okay written on it to this piece of paper with the words okay written on it. 
Uh, yeah, a little bit of a distraction there with the, with the writing the okay, uh, but uh, I think we may be starting to get this. I'll do a couple more this really painful really examples. Device. Okay! It can go, the train can go from here to there. Okay! The train can go from this thing to that thing. Okay! The train can go from Utah to Colorado. But if I said the train can go from Utah to Colorado, that would be at, that would be rejected. So let's go ahead and see if we can now, uh, some people got it, some people are still working on it. That's, that's okay, you guys. Like I said, I've done this for an hour with an AP class and they still couldn't get it. Um, let's see if we can now put this all together. Can somebody for me state, and now you can actually state what you think the answer is. We've done a bunch of experiments. Some people got it, some people don't, that's okay. We're gonna just continue on. Uh, Sydney, can you make a statement? And this would be what we consider our conclusion. Go for it. So when you say, okay, before listing your items, the train is able to go between the two of them. That is exactly right. When you say, okay, the train can go anywhere. Why, why was that so hard to recognize? Can anybody help me out with that? Any ideas on that? I think it's because people were thinking too hard about it. That's possible. What is it about okay, though, that we totally missed? And almost everybody at least missed it a little bit. What so is, me, why? Yeah, go ahead. For me, I was more looking at the objects than listening to the voice. Right. There were things that I was distracting you with. I was doing this stuff and distracting you with stuff that didn't matter. This happens in science all the time. We think, oh, we know exactly what's going on. It turns out we're totally wrong. So we tend to get distracted by our thoughts. Our thoughts can be limiting. Uh, they, you know, we need to like open up our minds so that we're open to new ideas. So just because uh, everyone just says, okay, blah, 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 blah. Everyone always says that, so we tend to ignore it. The brain is an organ that cuts out information. This is why babies are so, oh, whoa, this is so amazing. And we're like, oh yeah, that's a car, that's a tree, big deal. Because our brains are really attuned to cutting out information. As soon as we say, oh, that's a car, we stop looking at it. So uh, we got to, in some ways, work against our brains uh, when we do science because we have to keep a very open mind. Very cool. So what I want to do is I want to go to this thing right here. You guys, let's go ahead and you can just write this down on your piece of paper. What was the question that this little demo or game or experiment, what was the question I was, that we we're trying to answer here? How can you get the train to move? Yeah, like where, you know, what does it take to make the train go? Uh, like, uh, what does it take or what is necessary for train to go? Okay, I'll put that in, in quotes there. Really, in science, we're always asking, what is the rule? That's the general question we're always asking. What is the rule? And Sometimes we get it right, so more times we get it wrong, but that's, that's how science works. We're gonna get it wrong more times than we get it right. Okay, uh, and next up is uh, the hypothesis. Now, what I want you guys to do is list some of your hypotheses specifically that were wrong. What are, the hypo what are some hypotheses that are wrong? And I'm especially interested uh, for these that actually worked out. Some of you guys thought you had it, uh, but it turned out that, oh, wait, you didn't. So does anybody have an example of that? I thought that when you turned the item, like when you flipped it around, that meant the train could go there. Right. So may, a bunch of people thought, I'm sure, and I was doing different things here to try to distract you guys. Maybe this is the train can go, this doesn't. So maybe it had something to do with position of the items. Uh, anybody else have a, a hypothesis that maybe seemed to work out at first? Uh, did anybody, I'm really looking for, uh, hypotheses that didn't work out though that may have worked out for just a few trials. Anybody have that, one? I thought that the train could move as long as it was traveling from the same size object. Aha! Mm -hmm. So yeah, so maybe you see how these are the same height? Maybe, it, and that probably worked out because I know I held up like a phone and a spoon, something that's the same height. So that might have worked out. You guys, what did I, so let's, uh, so you go ahead and write down your incorrect hypotheses there. Everyone had different ones. I mean, we probably all had some incorrect hypothesis at some time. Now the experiment, for the experiment, what was the experiment that I had you guys do? What was the actual experiment? You had us test 
with like with an example yeah so the, the experiment was the say which way the train can go or say where the train can go okay and then uh if you if you said it right then i said yes if you said it wrong then uh if right jb says yes Okay. Okay. So if you got it right, I said yes. If I said no, it's not right, then you, uh, that was your experiment. Uh, if not right, I said no. So note that I asked everyone to repeat their experiment several times. The more trials, the better. The more trials you've done, the more sure you can be of the results. Note that for some people, one trial worked, but the rest didn't. Had they only done one trial, they may have walked away with the wrong idea. I had people do a minimum of three trials, but more would have been better if I wanted to be more certain they understood it. That was our experiment. Now, can anybody think of a, a way they could have uh, figured this out earlier? And that's, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. But uh, is there a way that you guys could have, like, uh, analyzed a pattern of the data? Let's say you had infinite amounts of money, infinite amounts of time, you had infinite resources. What could, what's something that we could have done to figure out this pattern as a group faster? I would say paying attention to your word choice and like okay. not trying to so think about it. Perfect, perfect right there. We could have even, is there something besides paying attention that we could have done that might have made it even more obvious? Like instead of just listening and just like sitting here with my hands like this, is there something I could have done with this thing? Yeah, Sydney, what do you think? Uh, I was gonna say stop overthinking. But... Stop overthinking is possible. Uh, there's something that you can do that's not thinking, but allows us to recognize patterns. Arthur, what do you think? Um, I think my idea was don't just, don't just focus all of your mind on one perspective. Yep, be open. What I was going to say, though, is with this pen, you could write down the ones that work and don't work. So analysis, we want to write down the data. Because if we did that, we would see, wait, the ones that work, he said, you know, this is the actual quotes. If we did the actual quotes, we would have had something like this, work and don't work. <laughs> and I would have had something like, you know, okay, dot, 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 whatever that is. And then uh, no, okay, the train, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we would have found that every time it worked, it started with okay. This is why we always write down data. And you don't erase anything that didn't work out for you, something that seems wrong. If I thought that uh, there was something wrong, like Barclay sneezed or something, I couldn't tell, uh, what I would do is I would cross out that piece. I wouldn't erase it. It may turn out to be something valuable later. Okay, our conclusion was you just say okay. If you just say okay, the train can go anywhere, cool. Uh, you guys, finally here, we're going to uh, wrap this up with the following. I want to take a look at this. I wonder if I can make this any bigger. Okay, you guys. Uh, so this is our last activity for the day here. We got three physics students. They want to find out once and for all, can your car go faster with higher octane gas? So they give their car, they, they drive their cars to the nearest gas station. One fills up with 87 octane. Another fills up with 89 octane. The last one fills up with 91 octane. Uh, the last one also adds a bottle of supercharged gas treatment for good measure. They wake up at 4.30 a.m. on the day of the experiment and they meet in the WBHS parking lot. Uh, they all drive to the south end of the parking lot. When the traffic light turns green, they race to the north end. Now, after one trial, the security guard comes out and busts them. You cannot race in the WBHS parking lot. Uh, but since the 91 octane car won the race, they determined, yes, we found it. 91 octane makes cars go fastest. You guys, there's some severe problems with this experiment. So I'd like you to tell me, and I'm just going to ask if we can uh, get some help from some other kids who haven't had a chance yet, especially if you got your camera off, I'm going to ask you to contribute here. Uh, what was wrong with this experiment? Uh, can we get... Uh, Cortland, I see you there. I want to try to get some of these other kids in here. Um, Natalia, do you have any ideas what might be a, a, a problem with this experiment? Yeah, the type of car that they were driving. Okay, so 
uh, they all had, they might have had different types of cars, uh, car uh, models. Uh, what else was a problem that's kind of like that? Anybody else? Um, yeah, the um, extra stuff they added to the gas. Aha, uh -huh. they, uh, one, one person added that supercharged gas treatment. One person added gas treatment. Uh, there's some other problems here. Uh, what, what else was different about the three situations that shouldn't have been? We had different cars. We had one person change the gas treatment. Anything else that was different? The amount of gas. Yeah, they might have had different amounts of gas, different gas levels. Uh, we also had different drivers. Uh, all of these, this all adds up to all of these things right here. They're all doing the same thing. These, the big problem is they're changing, whoops, changing more than one variable. There, you can only change one variable at a time. You guys, how can we fix this? How would we do it so that, uh, how would we fix this flaw? They're using different car models. What's the way to fix that one? Have them all use the same car. Yep, same car, use same car. Uh, how would we fix the thing that one person added this gas treatment and nobody else did? How would we fix that? Either take it out or have everyone add it. Yeah, exactly. We're just going to, don't use the gas treatment because uh, uh, that would add another thing in there. Uh, and then even if we did have everybody add it, that would still add a confounding variable because maybe it would act, everything would act differently if we didn't add that. Uh, different gas levels, how can we fix that? How do you fix, like it, some people had their tank half full, some people had the tank all the way full. How do Just we solve that problem? pop off. Uh, yep, everyone fill up. Everyone fill completely and uh, different drivers. Is there any way we could get this different drivers problem fixed? I got one that is uh, right now, this is really happening. Uh, Self-driving cars. You guys, uh, this already exists. Elon Musk's car, he's already, already got the bleeding edge car. He doesn't drive his car to work. His car drives him to work. He doesn't touch the steering wheel once. Now, it's gonna be a year or two before these, uh, these self-driving cars are perfected, but they're already safer than us. You guys, humans are horrible drivers. We can't pay attention all around our cars. S these self-driving cars are already safer. You, when you hear a, uh, a story about a self-driving car hurting someone, it's a big story because it never happens. Uh, so you guys, it's gonna take us a while to get used to it, but. These self-driving cars are already here. We could just have them all do it or have a robot drive these cars, which is already happening. So we can't change more than one variable. Um, and there's another big problem with this. Anybody see what else is a big problem with this thing? Anybody see a, another huge issue, maybe the biggest issue? Uh, what do you say, Sydney? They only use one trial. Yeah, only one trial. That is probably the biggest sin you can't find anything from one trial. If I flip a coin, it comes out heads. That doesn't mean it's always going to be heads. Uh, how do you solve this problem? Only one trial. Use more trials. You want to have as many trials as possible. That is it. As many trials as possible. I think we pretty much covered them. Uh, there, there's more ways they change more than one variable, but that's the whole big idea.